Hello and welcome to the PPD YouTube channel, folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. It's great to see you all again here on a Twinkle Tip Friday video. We hope you have had a fantastic week and you're ready for the weekend. It is time for a Twinkle Tip, and I've got something that I've been waiting just a little bit of time for before I actually address this issue, and it's time that I finally open up and share the information and share the knowledge that I've understood over the past, let's say, 10 years of using x -Lights. Let's get to it. All right, folks, so here we have a diagram of something called render order. Um, a few months ago, we had a very spirited conversation in our Tuesday night Zoom room, which you should totally join, by the way. We do this every Tuesday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can come in, ask any questions you have about the x Lights hobby in general, RGB, how you get going. Uh, and we do, we, we do an open Q&A session. And typically, every other week, we do a webinar. So you're welcome to join us for that as well. Um, but in any event, during one of our discussions after our webinar, we had, uh, we had a, a question about something called render order. Now, I've been using x -Lights for well over uh, 10 years, 10 years now. And in its current form, it will be 10 years old coming up at the end of this year. That's whenever, uh, 10 years ago in December is whenever it came out in an alpha form and I had the chance to begin using it. Keep in mind that me as a sequencer, as somebody who uses the software, and, and I am grateful for the, for the opportunity to learn very early uh, the software and to be able to share the information, uh, there was a lot of things that I learned from the beginning and I developed ways of conveying the information to people. One of the things that I have said over and over again is how effects are rendered in x -Lights. and. Um, I have to admit that while I didn't care for it at the time, uh, I, and I want to address this right now, is, uh, is that the wording that I've used for a number of years isn't exactly the wording that should be uh, applied to this. So I have made uh, a slight differentiation, and I'm going to d demonstrate exactly what uh, rendering order is, and I'm also going to share with you what I call priority, what the priority is of the effects in x -Lights. Now, I've been explaining this for years, and so if you look at some of the older videos, you're going to see where I have mistakenly called it render order versus uh, priority or viewable order. To get started with this, what I want to sh show you is this render order that's here on the screen. You'll notice, and I'll go ahead and grab my mouse here, and you'll see that whenever you are looking at the master view, now the master view is the list at which all of your props are in x -Lights. You can create a unique master view for every sequence, it doesn't matter, and you can put those props in different orders if you like, but generally people like to stick with the basic one way to create their uh, master view. And this is a huge thank you to Scott and the team who does the uh, x -Lights manual, which you see here on the page, because this is the x -Lights manual that we're reading right from. Uh, this is the order from which, bottom to top, that models are placed in the master view and where whenever you place an effect somewhere on those props somewhere on your master list doesn't matter where the order at which they're rendered so generally what happens is x lights will render a sequence starting at the top and it will render from the top down it and then inside the model or the model groups, if you have layers inside your model or layers inside your model group, it starts at the bottom layer and it works its way up. So you can have in your matrix or your mega tree, you could have 10, 15, 20 layers of effects stacked up like this. And it's always going to start rendering the effect at the bottom layer. Okay, so let me give you an example of this so you can physically see exactly what I'm talking about. Let's say I have an effect on the all house here, or all display. What you see here is a preview, I'll put this right here, and you can see that I have an effect at the top. Now if I put an effect on the all display, and I put an effect on, let's say, the arches, 
Uh, let's do um, let's do something a little bit more crazy here. Here we'll do the we'll do the um, we'll do white and black because that's going to create a little bit. Of, so now we've got um, on the individual models here on the individual groups that is we have the arches. So what's going on? How X Lights is rendering these effects is it's saying, hey, there's an effect on the top. I'm going to render you first, and then there's an effect down below this one in our master view. We're in our master view, and I'm going to render this one. After I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to end with this one. I'm going to render with this one. So render order, X Slice renders the effects from top to bottom in the master view, just as I've said. Now let's say I go in. Let's go down to the matrix and the mega tree here. So here's the matrix. I'll put a couple layers in real quick, and we'll put uh, a spiral. We'll put a single strand. We'll put a couple strands on there. Uh, and we'll rotate it, and then so there's there's one effect, there's two effects, there's um, there's the butterfly underneath of that, um, and uh, we'll put here we'll put a color wash with uh, these two colors, and then we'll do vertical and horizontal fade. So this so it'll look a little bit it'll look a little uh, so you see the pink there, the pink and the blue, there you go, and now you can see kind of how all of the effects layer together. I'm not trying to explain how layers blend together. What I'm saying is, is so what you can see X Lights is doing here, X Lights is going to start at the top and go down, but whenever X Lights physically renders the effects, when you hit the render button, what X Lights mechanically is doing is it's starting with this effect and it renders the butterfly effect first. Then it renders this color wash effect and then it renders a single strand effect and then it puts on top of it it says okay render this meanwhile if we go back to the top of our screen here and we go back up here let's 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 put the butterfly back on the all house here and or all display and then let's put that garland back here on uh uh the individual arches okay what you're seeing here is X Lights will render the butterfly effect first. It will render the arches or the, uh, I'm sorry, the garland effect second. And then it will come down here and mechanically it will render all of the effects on the matrix last because it's lower on the master list. Now what we've done here is walked you through the basics of understanding how X Lights mechanically renders effects in your layout. But it but this doesn't explain exactly how effects are displayed, portrayed, or shown priority-wise whenever you are sequencing in X Lights. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make this make this distinction between render order and priority. So what do I mean by priority? Well, I'm gonna open up here. Let me stop all the effects here. Let's go up here and we'll look at in the sequence settings. I just clicked on the little uh, nut nutcracker with a cog there. And if we come over here, I wanna show you that we have something called allow blending between models. Uh, what this basically does is this says, hey, I have an effect on something, but if, there's, but if that something's also in a group and that group happens to be in the master view above something else, then I want you to blend the two effects if you can see between them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disable this so that you can see exactly what render order is versus priority order. And this is all I'm doing is I'm showing the priority of which displays an effect versus another effect, okay? So let me click this and click done. And let's come back up here, and I'm going to change instead of the instead of the butterfly effect, I'm going to just use the on effect. So I'm going to turn on the all house, and it's all white. Everything's white. But now you see, oh look, look here, look here at our beautiful little um, our garland. We have we have pink and red and blue turquoise uh, on on our little arches there. And you can see, because we're not allowing layer blending between models in the settings, you can see that the priority, the priority is for X Lights to say, hey, I'm down underneath, 
but I'm also hiding in this group. So if I open up the all display, the all display has an all house and all yard. If I open up the all yard, the arches are in the all yard group. So what X lights is saying, hey, I, I if I turn this off and I and I, I change this to all on, right? You see it's all on, but if I put a prop, uh, an effect on the prop below it, even though it's inside the same group, we can do that, uh, that garland effect there again. And you can see that X lights overrides what is above it because it's being rendered first saying, nope, I'm more important. I am more important than you are up there, you whole house group uh, or whole display group. So there's a difference between priority and render order okay this is the distinction that I haven't ever made in any of the videos that I've ever produced before and it's important for me to make this distinction only because if you understand how X lights works then you can use it to your advantage so as a as a deeper example of this we can show you this again Oh, let me go down to the snowflakes because the, the arches are in the yard. Let's go to the snowflakes. If we go to the snowflakes and we put an on effect for the snowflakes there and we change that to green. Now we have the green snowflakes. The snowflakes are green. Why? Well, they're green because they are priority wise lower on the sequencing master view than the all house on effect, which we have set to white. So just because it's higher on the list gives it lower priority. So whatever's at the bottom, if you share groups from something down below and you have a main group up above, like an all house or all display, or, and you have those props inside the, that all pixel group or whatever you want to call it, the lower on the list gives you a higher priority. But it's funny because when you talk about render order, it renders last. It renders last the lower to the list that you go. So the last little bit that I want to share with you now is it's the uh, priority whenever you're sequencing on a group with layers. Okay, so let's scroll down here and we'll look at the effect that we've created here. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit and make it just a little bit more pretty. With the rainbow uh, effect here on the butterfly, I'm going to go to palette and I'm going to just let it be... Um, black and white okay let's go ahead and zoom out and I'll show you here's here's what the effect looks like basic okay so here's the color wash effect I'm gonna pull that out so you can see what that looks like and this is the way that layers blend in between each other and this is something that you should be aware of whether that that blending occurs now again we're talking about priority we're not talking about render order we're saying if this effect here is on the list it's rendering at the bottom but renders up but the more items listed above it it's going to give it priority over the other so for example here we'll, we'll change this to uh, we'll change this to all blue so that we just have four colors that we deal with and then we'll change this to um, let's do green and let's do a couple iterations boom boom and 3d it bam so you can see the priority here is whatever is on the top gets to be seen most because that's how X lights doesn't render the effects it's how it portrays them so what's on top is in the model view or the group view in this group layering structure that we're talking about the the top effects are going to be ones that are the most prominently displayed so there is definitely a difference between render order and priority but it's also important that these groups are in a specific order so that when you map your sequences you get the right output or you see the priority that the original sequencer or you yourself are trying to create so this is where I'm going to change this on effect from on I'm going to change it to a color wash and I'm going to go and put this on let's do overlay scaled and I'm going to add a fade okay so notice the difference whenever we switch our uh, sequence layer blending settings let's go into the sequence settings and we'll go here click the box here to allow blending between models and when we do I'm going to click done and I'm going to click render again 
and whenever I render, now if you zoom in, look at the look at the snowflakes right there. The snowflakes happen to appear to be just a little bit more blurred together with green and white. Whereas before, there was a definite line. There was no blending between those layers. So you can see how layer blending is affected by the priority order that your master view is set in. Folks, I don't want to um, beat a dead horse and I, I all, my primary interest in doing videos is to help people understand x lights a little bit better. I spend all day, every day, working inside x lights with the sequencing grid, and it is important to be a, as accurate as possible, but there is that distinction between render order and render priority and what you actually see when working within x lights. Hopefully, this video will help guide you in the direction of understanding how effects look, why they may look a little different in your sequence than in somebody else's sequence you mapped from, and maybe, just maybe, taking the time to open up their sequence, look at their master view, and compare it to your master view, and knowing that you can take the time to put your master view in a similar order to theirs to get better results. So guys, there you have it. That's everything from me here at Pixel Pro Displays this week. I hope this video was helpful and informative, and I hope you learned a little bit of something about x lights that you didn't know before. If you liked the video, please give us a huge thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the big subscribe button down below, and don't forget the bell for notifications. If you want a cool shirt just like this, we have Twinkles of Titan, uh, Titans of Twinkle, excuse me, and we have uh, the uh, Pixel Me This t-shirts. The Pixel Me This t-shirts are super soft, and you'll love them. Uh, just look for the link down in the description below for our gear and as always if you appreciate the things we do here at pixel pro displays please consider joining the ppd sequence club where you get one awesome sequence from our triple play sequence each and every month you get a choice of three songs and they change every single month coming up it's we're going into uh uh, August, September, October. We're going to be getting some Halloween choices here pretty soon. It's exciting, so stay tuned. It's been great seeing you again. Thank you for your attention this week, guys. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, and goodbye for now.